thing. Let's start things off with our first match, Kath Baker versus Diane Terrell. Of course, this tournament was meant to happen earlier last month, but unfortunately, real life started to take place. So we'll be proud to bring you the entire tournament. Unfortunately, Ian and Ollie couldn't be with me at this point, so it'll just be me. Sorry, I'm not calling it very well. I literally had... Well, I know my quality isn't always great, but... Lord almighty, I slept funny and my lungs absolutely hurt, and I need to get this done now, because, well, Crash Team Racing is taking up a lot of my time. Ugh. Uh, first match, former e, former BCW champion, Kath Baker, and Le and member of the Warpath, Diane Terrell. And here she is, Catherine Baker. The following contest is a championship first round match. Making her way to the ring from New York, Catherine. Catherine Baker, of course, one of the few standouts from BCW who made the transition over to DHPW. Can't really say, wasn't really a big star in BCW, sadly, but she made an impression enough on DHPW and managed to earn her way into this tournament, oddly enough. I believe she defeated, she won a battle royal against former BCW women to get into this match. But she's picked off more than she can probably chew here with Diane Terrell, the seven foot tall, seven foot tall monster of B DHPW. And we are grateful to everybody who's actually going to be sitting here and watching. Oh, and here she is, Diane Terrell. From Montreal, Quebec, Canada, Diane! Diane, of course, the youngest women's champion in DHPW history at 18 years old. Daughter of Tank Terrell, a DHPW mainstay. Power and speed trained by her father to... They can get a second generation wrestler here. The question is, will Catherine Baker's experience overshadow the raw power and speed and talent of Diane? And Catherine is taking it straight to her. Ooh, <laughs> not for, whoa. Okay, this was a surprise. Catherine really taking, really trying to show this young whippersnapper, I guess. <laughs> Diane really taking, really taking a, a beating in the early, early goings here. Catherine, of course, really hasn't had that standout moment in wrestling in any company. She's a workhorse, no doubt about it. Maybe one of her only chances to really show... Ooh! But you can't deny the... Oh, and she... Ooh!
Well, Catherine Baker really is showing showing us that she's desperate to win this. I mean, Diane herself, former tag team, former women's champion, part of a big, one of the biggest stables in women's wrestling. Ooh, and a massive T-bone there from te from Diane. Catherine really hasn't had that moment. She hasn't had any alliances, any major matches. But she's put, she's got the heart. She's truly the Tommy Dreamer of, of women's wrestling. I mean, this woman has heart. G German! This usually signifies the end. I mean, Diane is an absolute beast in wrestling. A legacy her father herself has. And one, two... And Catherine... Kath Baker really shows that she's... Shows her tenacity. Well, no... F. Kai! F. Kai! This is it! Ref, get in position, you idiot! One, two, go! Oh. And Catherine kicks out! Whoa! And Catherine's going for her own! Catherine's going for her own finisher! Will this be it? One, two. Ooh, Catherine's really trying her hardest here. Diane is not an easy opponent, but the fact she's got as many moves in as she has. And she's going for it again. One, two. Catherine, whoa. Even it. Just this win would be a big deal for that deal for Catherine. To so take on an established name like Diane and win? Ah no! Oh god, another German suplex. <laughs> Catherine got to the ropes. Ooh. Catherine's shown a lot of heart here. She's really taking it in this first round. She really needs... That's the thing about Catherine, she puts her all into near enough every match she does. And she's not flashy, she's not amazing, she doesn't have this amazing catchphrase. God, Catherine almost had it. 
She got to size up. Diane is quite, quite the beast. This could be it. And a third time is this it? An exploder suplex. One, two, oh. And again, Catherine. You've got to be wondering what she's got to do to take Diane down. Oh, she may be thinking that she needs to win by count out. Or do some da Oh, well, no, she's going to do some damage on the outside. Or throw her back in. I don't understand it myself. And a hurricane runner. One, two. And Diana again gets up. <coughs> oh, and oh no, this is where Diana is the most dangerous on the offense. I mean, no duh, that's literally all, that's literally what being on the being dangerous on the offense is what it is. But here's what here's the problem. Diane is powerful. Has a very small loss record in this in wrestling at this point, losing only to Lupe. Who unfortunately isn't in this tournament due to well. Injury at this point. Injury during training meant she couldn't actually make it here. Oh! And this may just be it. Catherine seems to be at her limit. Oh no! They're in the crowd! Ooh! And here comes the F Kai! F Kai! Second time! Is this it? One! Two, three, roll! Oh. And now... Oh. Catherine Baker... Oh! Belly to belly! Is this it? One, two... Oof! Oh. Still not it! Still not there! Still not there! Diane's back is starting to really hurt from the looks of it. And an exploder suplex. Will that be enough? The fourth. Two. Three. Catherine Baker just defeated Diane. A great show by both women. And Catherine is going to the second round. 
Next, we've got to determine who's going to face Catherine. But let's start the second part of the brackets. Nicole Blackwell and Sister Shiazaki. Nicole Blackwell, of course, in a very weird place. Sister Shiazaki, of course, a recent graduate of D of Todd Might's school. Yeah. Todd Might, of course, opening a wrestling school, which has allowed him to introduce quite a few people to this, to this industry. Here comes Nicole Blackwell. The following contest is a championship first round match. Making her way to the Nicole Blackwell, of course, the Toronto, daughter of Alice Ontario, Blackwell. Canada, Nicole Blackwell. Recently disappeared from the industry for just a little while. However, of course, they took Sayo from her. Word is that Alice Blackwell, Father Payne, and Mr. Crowley Now, I know next to nothing about Sister Shiozaki. Where it is, she, the only information we were given is that she likes gardening. And she's quite a peaceful person. She was nice enough to, well, actually be polite backstage. I mean, when she found out that she's going to be facing Nicole Blackwell, she said she'd be praying for Nicole, not for the lo not for beating her, but for the, the evil spell that's clearly been placed on her.
This is like watching a match between good and evil. Shiozaki now st now fully dressed and ready, and they lock up. Whoa. This time, Nicole gets the hold. Sister Shiozaki now forced into the co forced into the ropes. The ref needs to come in and do something about this. Separate these two people. Good on you, ref. And STO. Oh, and she sat back up and cut her leg. Ooh. Whoa. And Shiozaki returns the favor. And Hurricane Rana, the first big move of this match. Oof. Oof. And Shizaki either avoided that or Nicole kind of just miscalculated. Oh! And kicks right to her legs, and Shizaki is out of the ring. I think this has gone personal. I mean, Shizaki is a very devout is very devout in her religious beliefs from the sound from what I've heard. And a power slam from Nicole Blackwell. Ooh. I will say these two seem to have each other very well scouted. Oh, and a low relief. Honestly, I have no words for what I'm seeing here. These two seem to work. This is a true good versus evil match. And Shiozaki is getting up. This is, of course, Shiozaki's first ever match, I should point out. And this may be, it may be her last after that. Oh, too close to the ropes there, she is. There, there. Oh. Oh, and she misses. Shiozaki, however. Oh, stunner! And a stunner. Is that it? One, two, go! And Shizaki is getting a bit more aggressive. Oh, oh, wow. You 
know, I was worried about how these two would carry on from the first match. But, jeez, this is... These two are actually taking each other... Are actually... Ooh! They've got each other very well scouted. enough to take down Nicole and she might be going for that again stunner will this be enough will sister Shizaki move on to oh no and even she thinks it was three Counter into an F5. That was close. We got a lot of close matches tonight. Oof. Need a face. And even that's not enough. She's getting really pissed off now. Submission! Submission! Nicole Blackwell is just destroying. Shiozaki. Knee drop. Oh. Okay, come on. Come on, Nicole. This is... this is too much. Come on. Come on, Nicole. She can't take any more of this. Spare! Spare! One, two, three. It's over. Nicole Blackwell has beaten Shiozaki. Gotta give credit to the rookie. That knee strike might have been what put her down. Nicole Blackwell may just win this entire thing. Next up, Izunami versus Katie Hill. Two people who haven't really had that, who I'm surprised haven't crossed it that as many times as you would expect, considering they've been in the company, in companies together for years. 
Izunami, of course, one of the first major women in the DHPW back when their revolution started. We have credit to Shiazaki, who is quite hurt. Here comes the Queen of Wrestling. Well, oh. Izunami, one of the first DHPW women's match. champions, making her way to the ring from Kyoto, Japan. Demon. I can't exactly say I understand the whole Hanya Demon thing, but Izunami has been a big staple of DHPW for the last three years. In fact, most of the women's match women she's brought uh, that have come in have wanted to work exclusively with this woman. Katie Hill, of course, her opponents from the uh, stat the illustrious Hill family. And here comes the Ice Queen herself. Former DH, she was the DHPW Women's Champion for all of one month before losing it to Charlotte. Two former Women's Champions? But my guess is Katie Hill wants to prove she's the true queen of wrestling at this point. Though ripping off Charlotte Flair probably isn't going to do her any favours. Though she does remind me of Emma Frost from X-Men. Oh well. And off we start, and a spear already! I'd say it's the veteran experience of Izunami, but I don't think it's experience so much as arrogance, and that arrogance has come back to, pet, to bite her on the ass as Katie Hill ooh, takes down the veteran. Trading of corner shots at this point. We've had a good first two matches. Katie now going for a ravishing net breaker. Rude awakening. Could be it. One. Ooh, barely even a one count. And I think Izunami is right back up. God, what the hell?
And a spear. A spear from the women's champ, the former women's champ. Katie, of course, really showing. Katie is, of course, a is a next generation wrestler, daughter to. Oh, oh, shining wizard! The Hill family. Katie has Matt. Katie has a lot of success, really. A rivalry with Jetta Star, where she finally defeated her rival at our biggest pay-per-view. And Katie is looking to end this. And it, oh, a dead drop. What the? Someone's music's playing. That's Alexa Bliss. WWE star? One, two. What the? What's? I still have no words for what I saw. Oh, to why he's now is he? Madarazzo isn't even doing anything. Maybe she's letting her get. I wouldn't let her get in all those hits. Another spear. One, two. And another spine buster. One, two, three. K Hill just defeated Izunami. Am I right? Izunami. Jesus. I don't know, maybe Izunami just didn't want to win this way. Not with interference from Kate from someone like that. So Katie Hill and our final what match for round one. Well, Katie Hill will go on to face Catherine Baker, Morag and Jetta Star. Jetta, of course, the, the first ever DHPW Women's Champion, first ever TFPW Women's Champion, a New Blood Women's Champion. This woman is the, is the queen of firsts. However, she's got to get through the toughest woman in all of DHPW, TFPW, and New Blood. The Glasgow Barbarian. Morag.
is more than the hardcore champion. Match. Making her way to the ring from Glasgow, Scotland, the women's hardcore champion, the nightmare champion. The hardcore title is not on the line tonight. And her opponent from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, the Queen, Jack. The first ever meeting of Morag and Jetta. Jetta Star. Whoa. Morag is, of course, more of a brawler. Ooh, and Jetta has been in a really bad role lately. Losing matches to literally everybody. Recently even losing to her rival, Katie. Ooh. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And Kmorak Glasgow kissed all of them. Jetta needs to really fix herself up at this point. She's losing way too many matches. The reputations go down. Her value is going down. On, ooh. And you don't try and go a straight out fist fight with Morag. One. I mean, some of the men fight Morag. And she still beats them up. And a one like a drop kick. Right at the top where she feels the most comfortable. Ooh. Oh, and that one came back to bite her. Super kick. Power slam! What? People don't give Morag the credit of how strong she actually is. Spare! This could be the end of Jenna. Oh, gun stun. One, two, three. More like it's defeated Jenna. Yet another loss for Jetta. Former Queen of Wrestling eliminated. Here is your winner, the Nightmare. Well, 
next up we move to the semi-finals, Kath Baker versus Katie Hill. I don't know what's happened to Jetta lately, but she's just become... So... It's just become very difficult to support her these days. She's clearly not that. She's clearly not the talent she used to be. And here comes Catherine Baker. Enjoy the mat, enjoy the ride, if you can. Oh! And oh, right out of the gate. Catherine really wanted to get through this very quickly. people and why are they sudden what what the hell's wrong with Katie here? One, two, three What the heck? Katie Hill? What the, what the hell just happened? Alexa Bliss and Nia Jax interfered with all of her matches. And here we see it. Nia Jax just jumped in. The referee even saw her in the ring. Did nothing and Catherine Baker has moved to the finals. Here is your winner, Catherine Baker Catherine. could end up being queen of the ring.
is a championship tournament semi-finals match. Making her way to the ring from Glasgow, Scotland, the women's hardcore champion, the nightmare champion. And again, a hardcore champion. Uh, these two will be an interesting match. Can't really say whether or not Nicole has recovered from that really intense matchup she had with Shiozaki. Ooh. Wouldn't... Ooh. I'd say don't fight on the outside. Not with Morag. This is her environment. Ooh. Is that enough though to take down Morak? One, two, no. F5. One, two, three. Nicole's going on to the finals. Nicole versus Catherine Baker. To determine the Queen of the Ring. Here is your winner. Well, looks like we get our finals. Catherine Baker versus Nicole Blackwell. Ship tournament and is for the women's ring making her way to the ring 
from New York, Catherine. Catherine has a chance to be her, have her big moment. The Queen of the Ring Championship. This is going to be it. Oh, come on, more interference? Oh, didn't work this time. Morgan. Oh, this could be it already. Catherine Morgan. Catherine. Oh, Kath Baker. Spare. One, two, three. Nicole Blackwell is the queen of the ring. Nicole tried to use that whole interference thing to win. And we have just hit the hour mark here. What a way to end this show. Here is your winner and new women's ring champion, Nicole Blackwell. She's done it. Nicole Blackwell has won the women's championship. The Queen of the Ring Championship. She is the Queen of the Ring in DHPW. We'd like to thank you all for joining us. And we'll see you all soon.